now we go to the uh, the second category which is the complex linear model okay within the complex linear model there are um, four choice yeah, four choice uh, the energy damage model the generalized time sequence model the generic epidemiological model and lastly is the reason model of system safety or Swiss cheese model so let's start with the energy damage model eh, by Viner um, 1991 eh. so <coughs> you know Viner sees uh, an accident is a consequence of um, energy eh, as a hazard okay uncontrolled uncontained energy so when the energy is uncontained or uncontrolled it would it would find victims eh? it would find victims if so happens if somebody is nearby or as an asset is nearby so that would affect that victims is either people people or assets okay so the energy here okay has it as energy you know where it loses control okay there is no um, gray border yeah? it will travel along the space continuum yeah, the space in the area around that source of energy and we'll find recipient the victim the people or the asset recipient can be everything lah, eh? penerima eh? it can be people it can be asset it can be process and if it's the if the recipient is not protected well enough then accident happen eh? so from Viner's point of view, all of this energy is hazard. Uh, in a way, I also uh, agree eh, that you know, if you just sit down doing nothing, there will be nothing dangerous about it. Eh? If a car does not move, okay, stay still eh, in idle state, not moving, eh? it's not dangerous. It's not hazardous. Only when the car moves, then it becomes hazardous. Eh? So that is kinetic energy. When people fall, okay, so that is gravitational hazard. Eh? The kinetic energy from the pool, eh, that was created from the movement of vehicles, eh, the movement of machineries, anything that moves, eh? a collision eh, between a moving object with another moving object or stationary object, so it collides. If the if the speed is higher than the kinetic energy will be higher creates momentum and the impact will be greater uh, it might be a potential of stored energy <coughs> okay anything that is compressed uh, within a cylinder for example compressed liquid compressed gas yeah? or <coughs> anything that is you know on top that is bound to roll down for example you have a big boulder of stone on top of mountain and you know it is a uh, hole in it is held in its position with something here yeah, under it underneath it so it's a potential energy if the things that is holding the big boulder cracks or was destroyed then the big boulder will roll down the hill and causes destruction yeah. but that is the potential energy um there are electrical energy yeah uh, they can cause shock uh, fire there are thermal or chemical energy that causes fire corrosion heat stress cold stress etc there are biological energy you know bioorganism activity like covid 19 okay um, you know it moves from person to person and then it, en it enters your body it start to spread and you know attack certain of your organs eh? causes you to have illnesses there are sound energy like noise and also radiation so <clears throat> in a way this damage model says that if you want accident 
uh, not to happen, you want to avoid accident, okay, you must make sure that the energy is being controlled. Okay, being controlled, huh? the bigger the grey border, the better. Okay, it might be in a good pipeline, a good quality pipeline, good process. You know, if if it's a lion in a zoo, make sure that the lion is contained within the strong cage. Yeah? So the hazards in the form of energy needs to be uh, controlled and eh? needs to be contained. Yeah? So that it cannot, you know, travel. It cannot travel and find the recipient. And the best way is also to pr protect the recipient eh? because every recipient has their boundary. Eh? For example, say for example for COVID-19, eh? not all those who are positive COVID-19 will have illnesses. Eh? Some don't have any symptom eh? because they have a stronger uh, antibody for example. Eh? Some people got severe illnesses It's because of their you know the nature of their antibodies maybe not so strong and that is the boundary some people can withstand heat yeah? extra heat is okay for them some cannot yeah? so there are boundaries if the energy that is released yeah, out of its containment <coughs> and meets the recipient and if that recipient can withstand that energy, then that recipient will be okay, right? Maybe just a small fire, then, you know, it's not strong enough or the body can, you know, uh, can hold uh, enough strength not to affect the body totally. So, but if the fire is bigger, then maybe at some point of time, the recipient cannot withstand anymore and can be injured or even die from the process. So, you have to control or contain the energy. You have to make sure that the recipient also has protection, okay. maybe in terms of um, antibody or in terms of wearing protective equipment, in terms of, uh, you know, have to be inside a protective room Okay, and also you have to make sure there is a defense, a protection to protect just if the energy is released, it does not meet the recipient, it stops in the middle eh, because of something, uh, something that blocks the energy from meeting the recipient. Okay, a good example, for example, maybe if you have a lion. Uh, you see a lion in the zoo, so that lion is contained uh, within a cage, right? But at the same time, you can see also at zoo, uh, you, you will find in front of where the visitors can look at the lion, there is a big moat, uh, a big, like longkang besar, depan tu. Uh. So that is the extra layer of protection to protect the zoo visitor from being overwhelmed by the lion. So if the lion uh, is released from the cage for some reason, maybe because the cage was, uh, you know, was torn apart because of um, because of something, and then the lion cannot meet the zoo visitor because there is a big moat uh, in between. Ada longkang besar di antara singa dan juga pengunjung zoo. Yeah. So the, the 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 lion will just roam around there lah, cannot go anywhere. Yeah. Although that lion is out of the cage. Right? So that is a simple explanation. You can use this for a lot of energy, for example, you know, fire. Yeah. <coughs> if the factory or if the workplace, you know, it handle fires for some reason, like a, like a foundry, yeah, melting uh, metal and everything, so you have fire. So you have to make sure that the fire is within control, yeah, does not, you know, spreads or becomes, you know, you know, big enough to consume the factory, and then make sure that, you know, it not 
it's not easily can travel from one point to another and if it's travel you know the recipient can run away yeah, from the fire right, or being protected in a place that is strong enough to withstand fire for a couple of hours for example yeah. so if everything in in its place and uh, we can be assured that you know the accident uh, likelihood or probability is you know minimized